Well, hello, this is Chuck. If you're uh, looking at this, you may be looking at the, uh, the live video feed on uh, cam streams, or you may be a visitor from uh, selfsufficientish.com or some other site that I like to visit related to fish. Well, uh, this is in the garage, and I've got a two tank system. Uh, each tank is an IBC container that holds a thousand liters each, or 264 gallons. I've uh, cut and uh, removed the, uh, the tops off of both tanks. And the tanks right now each, well the first tank here on the left holds about 700 liters of water. That's where I like to keep that level. And I have about uh, 400 liters over in the, uh, the second tank in the back. Okay, the second tank in the back has no fish at the moment. I am cycling it. And hopefully in February we'll be able to stock that with some uh, tilapia fingerlings. And the goal of course is to eat that. Uh, what's driven us to uh, raise tilapia, I'll show you here. Backyard's kind of messy. It is December. But this is our backyard garden. Uh, we like to do some organic uh, gardening and uh, we've uh, completed our second year. In our uh, greenhouse currently we have a lettuce growing inside. And let me show you our first system here. Uh, the first system here, this tank, uh, there's some goldfish. If you if you're going to uh, raise tilapia and you've never done that before and you have no fish experience, I strongly recommend that you uh, experiment with these feeders you can buy at the pet store pretty cheap. 13 cents, 27 cents for the tiny ones. Let me show what we got in here. Okay, down here is a pump. It's a 264 gallon per hour pump. Okay, 264 gallons is a thousand liters. The water is pumped up okay, to this hose up to the top and this is a one gallon jar pickle jar and this jar has got this fiber fill we bought from Walmart that's used to make pillows water comes inside this helps separate any of the physical uh, uh, waste products or uh, food that's been uneaten the water then discharges back into this inlet pipe which runs down to the bottom I have lava rock and pebbles inside this is a, a media it does two things uh, it provides a surface area for the bacteria to grow on that we need. And then the second thing, of course, we can actually put plants in here. Uh, lettuce, uh, for example. Okay. The bottom of the tank is this loop. It's called a loop siphon. All right. Water level is currently here. And when the water level gets up to here, the water will discharge down to about this point. Okay, this is called an ebb and tide system. And what it does is it allows the... Uh, uh, the bacteria growing in the rocks to receive oxygen. And because the water is uh, rising and then lowering, it also causes the roots of any plants to grow to actually have to reach a little bit far farther down to, uh, to get to the water. Okay, the water here uh, will leave the, uh, the, the hose. At the surface, it will bring a lot, of a lot of oxygen back into the, uh, the water system. I do have over here air, these uh, air stones. There are four of them. And there's the air pump right over here. Uh, these are the two webcams, two Loftec cameras uh, bought up on eBay. And uh, this one right there here for the moment is the one that you may be viewing the live stream from. Okay, the water is starting to trickle in about 45 seconds. We'll get a large rush of water. You can see the fish, they like going around that water because I've conditioned them to, to eat there. That's where I actually introduced the, the food. Uh, to feed them. I won't feed them right now. Okay. Next to the pump I have a 300 watt heater. Uh, I've had that thing uh, all year long and I've got the temperature set right now close to a 70 degrees. I think it reads 69.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Go ahead and shut that off. Uh, these are pets now. Uh, they've been my experimental fish. I've added some things down at the bottom. Uh, those are some fossilized uh, shark's teeth that we can find here in the Carolinas. A little face of flower pot and some phosphate that we find also in the area. Okay. It's been interesting watching the fish swim around. If I had more of that uh, phosphate, I'd place that in there too. Okay, the water stream is starting to build up. In order to get a loop siphon to work, you've got to have a little bit more water coming in than going out. 
and if this runs for a couple of minutes, then I'll know I've got to go down there and change the filter in my pump. To the left, I have a 55 gallon tank that I fill up with rainwater that I collect from the outside. There's a pump down there that's pumping up into this little mason jar, acting as a filter. There's some fiber fill in there, and it's just cleaning out any of the algae that's uh, that got in the water from the actual tanks outside. Well, there we go. Lots of oxygen being introduced in the water. As you know, this oxygen uh, is important to get into the water. Uh, the fish absolutely require it. And you see the fish, uh, these fish are very healthy. They are swimming, they are active, and that's good. I, I wish I could say they've been this way all year long, but I've made some mistakes. And, and, and the water quality has really deteriorated. I had a high ammonia buildup. And uh, I switched uh, test strips, which I thought was testing ammonia. It wasn't. And I forgot that one detail. So I lost a lot of fish about a month and a half ago. Okay. Great. Now that cycle's complete. This will repeat about every four and a half minutes. I do have a second tank up here now I've got operating. Uh, when I buy um, a fish, I actually put them in this tank for a couple of days just under quarantine to make sure they're all still alive after a couple of days. If any of the fish get sick, I can throw them back up there. Okay, I've got another tank cycling over here. I heard it. There it is. Here's the, uh, the, the loop siphon running down the PVC in the water. And you can see the water is, is spreading that sediment apart. Now there's gravel and there's still some uh, sand that came from the lava rocks. Uh, there is some ammonia content to, to this water, which is good. So it's being cycled up into the uh, the, the grow bed, and uh, there are rocks up there as well. Okay. Uh, the different design here. I do have a pump pumping up to this hose. It's coming this homemade PVC filter. Okay. I do have a YouTube on uh, clip on how I built that. Water coming in. The hose comes to the bottom, and then there's this full of that uh, fiber fill water comes out the top down inside here. This can be unscrewed on the bottom so I can actually clear that stuff out and it's suspended by this little uh, cable and, and rope. Okay, Nothing interesting in there to report other I'm just cycling the water. Okay, uh, I have added this uh, the strap here to help give it some support. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient or not but we'll, we'll see. Okay, I do have some, a place up on the ceiling to add some fluorescent plant lights. I hope to do that here shortly. And that will make this a complete aquaponic system. Okay, there are the fish. One close up look. They scatter. That's a, great. And just to let you know, I do have a couple more IBC containers out here. I'm not going to say that they're pretty. I, I do try to keep them obstructed from uh, the neighbor's view. And here they are right here. And of course they're for collecting rainwater off the gutter. Okay. Do have quite a big uh, algae mold, uh, algae buildup inside. I did try cleaning that the other day. So uh, the water's still good. Oh yeah, I want to point out that uh, these rain barrels do have a lot of uh, mosquito larva. You see the mosquitoes that have, um, they, they they went from larva to mosquito stage and they couldn't get out and they've died. Okay. What's nice about the mosquito larva, three days ago they were considered pests and now they make fine delicacy food for our actual um, goldfish. They love those things. So if you're watching live streams you'll see me uh, feeding them at least once a day until we run out of mosquito larva. And I don't think that's ever happened before. Okay, well this is Chuck and that's all I've got to say for right now. Hope you enjoy.